Yeah. So hello, very good afternoon, Mantasha Malik. How are you? Uh, good afternoon. I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing well, perfectly fine. So like uh, we are meeting for the very first time. So before we are moving forward to the conversation, let's start introducing ourselves. So would you like to take this on now? Would you like to uh, introduce yourself first? Yes, of course. If I talk about me, my name is Mantisha. I'm from UP. I have completed my graduation. I'm pursuing Master of Art from English. My hobbies, I love reading, traveling, speaking English, singing song. And I'm also running my YouTube channel, Fluent English with Mantisha. That's all about me. Okay, you have to watch me on the screen. Your eye contact is somewhere else. Okay. Now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. Okay, that's great. So like how long have you been on YouTube? Uh, it's not been long time. Uh, it's been 14 days. 14 days. Do you know about me? Yes. I, I subscribed you earlier when I started my journey to speak in English. Okay. Yeah. That's so what's your all video? Okay. But still, do you need my introduction or will we can just save some time? Yeah, I need your, your introduction. Okay. Uh, so my name is Karishma. I'm talking to you from Gurgaon and I'm an advocate by profession. I'm also a mother of two children and uh, I'm having a YouTube channel named Advocate Karishma Chauhan, which I have been running from last two years, where I upload all the conversational video as well as solo content related to English only. That's all about me. So nice. I really like your videos and the way you speak. It's marvelous. I really like your speaking in English. Thank you so much. Coincidentally, we both are wearing black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somewhere, I don't know why, but you look like me. <laughs> I feel like that you are like, your face is same, like similar to me. I don't know why I feel like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Tell me if you want to ask something, you can ask me. Otherwise, we can discuss any. Yeah. I want to ask like similar. Um, there are some co problem. What when I speak in English, so I feel like blank, whatever like a structure, like whatever I want to say in English, sometimes I get goes blank. My mind goes blank. So what should I do for that? Still, but I can see you are speaking well. No, in some questions, like when I have to say about uh, I have to give answer, long answer, then I get stuck. OK, OK, OK. Yes, yeah, sometimes it's happen. If you're not aware about the topic we are going to talk about, we it usually happens because sometimes we do not have a knowledge about that particular thing we are going to talk about. In such scenarios, it's happen. So first of all, you need to do practice a lot because that is the only solution you can, uh, you know, uh, be able to uh, speak perfectly. When I was started uh, learning this language, I used to stuck a lot. I used to speak broken English. You might have seen my previous videos. And now, like since it's been two years, it took me two years to become fluent in English. And still, I do not consider myself as a fluent speaker. I still feel that there are some lacking points, especially when I feel excited. I speak too fast and I have received a lot of comments on that, that ma'am, you should reduce your speed. So, you know, when you start speaking, start practicing that thing, like uh, words don't come to your mind or your mind goes blank automatically resolve. You don't need to even focus on that particular thing. You just need to do practice every day. That's the solution for this problem. You're right. Exactly. I totally agree with you. So how do you learn new words? How do you incorporate new words in your conversation? See, now I'm emphasizing more on vocabulary and what I do, I create a short video daily, like Vocabulary. Yeah, I watch your short videos as well. And you know what? I'm actually learning all those vocabulary. I'm trying to use them. And even if you will watch this conversation, I have just used one vocab. So this is how I'm able to use them. Because when you create a video, now you have to go through from that particular word like multiple times. And ultimately, you're going to learn it. It, it I'm giving you 100% of surety that if you will learn in this way, you will get 30 new words at the end of the month. Not even 30, at least 20 you are going to remember. And you will be able to use them in your conversation as well. So what I do, I like consciously, I try to use those words. And this is how I'm improving. Wow, amazing. Yes. I really like the way you are practicing the words. 
yes 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 you know earlier i was also confused like how i should incorporate those words like even i'm i'm i get to know a lot of vocabulary on daily basis when i'm talking to somebody every day i'm coming across a new word but i won't be able to remember it for a longer duration so then i this thought came to my mind okay i should do something additional like you know, this, in this way, I'm not going to learn vocabulary. So for, from that day, I started making this video. And my videos are also helping other people to know one vocabulary. So just a minute of video, it's, it doesn't take much time. So people are also, you know, watching those videos and getting new word every day. And this is how I am also learning. I think the people who say that we are not able to remember vocabulary, they should use this formula and 100% they're going to learn it and also able to use that word in conversation. Exactly, you're right. When we share the things, whatever we are learning, so we improve a lot. We learn very easily. That's absolutely. When we explain it, right, in simple way. For example, if I have learned something, I have learned from the book. If I'll explain this thing, so it will uh, go 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 with my subconscious mind, and it will stuck there, and it will stick in my mind. And you know what, uh, initially when I was learning English, I used to do this practice. As you said that when we teach somebody else and we repeat the things, it will, you know, restore in our subconscious mind. And that's absolutely true because when I was learning, I used to teach few kids in from my neighborhood and I used to talk to them in English. I used to read them story. And this is how when I'm going to explain them, I, I used to learn a lot of things. After a particular time, I stopped doing it. But yes, initially it was like very helpful. So I think if you're teaching somebody, not even if you're if you do not have any kind of student, you can just try to teach yourself. You can predict that you are a teacher and you're telling somebody else. You're explaining this thing to somebody else. You can stand in front of the mirror and you can try to teach others. And in this way, 100%, whatever you are learning, it is going to be with you for a longer duration. And this mm -hmm. is I have personally experienced. You're right, exactly. Hmm. Okay, tell me something about you. Like, how long have you been learning English? It's been three months. I'm learning con continuously. And I started my journey. It's been one year, but I'm just continuously practicing for three months. Okay, so like it took one year to you to speak like fluently. You're speaking fluently, I feel. There's no such issue I can find. And uh, like from last three months, you have been practicing with other people, like Thank co-learners. Yes. Co-learners. Yeah, I was not consistent because consistency is really important to learning anything, right? And I was okay. not consistent. That's why I used to get fumble while speaking in English. Okay, okay. That's great. Yeah, obviously consistency matters a lot, not for learning English, for anything. If you are on your weight loss journey, if you're not consistent for like particular amount of days, you, you're not going to lose any weight. So that's important everywhere. Exactly. And I'm very passionate to learn this language. That's why I forget myself sometimes. I just don't self-care. Like I don't care myself. Like I just forget this. I am very obsessed to learn this language. That's that's important. You know, obsession for learning something is really important. If you're not obsessed with this thing, you're not going to give your 100%. When mm -hmm. we are very dedicated for something, then only we are able to put our 100% efforts. And if we, we are putting 100% efforts into something, 100% we are going to get that thing. Exactly, you're right. And yes. I was not, uh, like I didn't have a hobby that to read books. Now I incorporate the hobby, reading books for improving my English. Uh, that is important. Even I did the same. I didn't read anything in my past and but what i feel is that reading really helpful it not yes. only enhances your knowledge it will also give you few structures great structures that this is how you should made your structure this is how you should speak so once we are reading loud we are you know practicing speaking those sentences and this is how we will be able to use them so i think reading is one of the important aspect of learning english yes exactly you're right and yes. when I see that now, I have to just more expand my vocabulary. Like I'm log logophile person. I really like to expand my vocabulary. And whenever I see new words, I don't know the meaning. How to how can I say in English? So I just search spontaneously and get the meaning and just try to use deliberately. Yes, we have to do that. Until we use them deliberately, it is not going to come to us. We are tend to forget it. 
Yeah, even though I observe one thing in my mother tongue, there are some words I don't know. But when I repeat them, I get to know that it it is stuck in my mind. It is stick in my mind because the repetition I think key to expand the vocabulary. There is no shortcut. Yes, there is no shortcut. <laughs> yes, if people sometimes I have seen that learner they are focusing more on vocabulary and they are writing five to seven vocabularies per day. They are trying to learn them, but you are not going to learn them like this. You cannot do rectification. You cannot learn them. Right. You have to practically use them in your conversation, and then automatically you will be able to uh, recall them during actual conversation. And you won't even realize. Okay, I have already learned it. This is what I am doing. I am just speaking like vocab every day, and this is how I am able to use them in my conversation, and I am able to remember them. Exactly. You are right. Yes, and tell me something about you. Like, what are your hobbies? What do you do in your free time? Uh, when I feel stressed, so I just sing the song. I really like to sing the song, listening song, and reading the books, as well as traveling and hanging out with my friends. Yeah, I really like this thing. Okay, that's amazing. So, like, do you like what traveling? Your hobbies. My hobbies, I do not have. any time for my hobbies i am stuck with my household chores my kids and other responsibilities so usually i do not get free time um, to do anything which me like which i am interested in so now if i talk about this time youtube is just my hobby whenever i feel free i do something related to youtube only like how i can improve how should i help how can i help my learners other viewers who are watching my videos so my mind always goes into finding good stuff for the viewers and i just want to make good quality content for them so that they can also get some help from through my videos yeah this is what my hobby now wow nice hobbies and it will make <laughs> your career as well <laughs> yeah. yes and whenever i feel free now i i i don't think about anything except youtube i don't know i am i think so much passionate i'm very much passionate about this youtube thing and for that reason i think i am um, spending a lot more time into this which is not really good for my eyes or my mental health because i am using a lot of like whole day i am with gadgets i am not yeah, spending yeah, likewise i also do this thing and sometimes i feel very headache and i feel that i should give some free time for myself it's really important mandatory to just give some time for our mind right for relax for relaxing so i just think that it's really important my mom also really scolded me that you are very careless you don't care yourself and how many times i have to tell you just keep your phone aside it's not good for your mental health or your eyes as well so i just yeah. get scolded by mom every time and what is happening even like whenever we are free that time we need our phone in our hand that's Basically, the compulsion whatever i do na high house chores work any doing the dishes i just feel that where is my phone where is lots of obsessions in me <laughs> i just feel all alone without phone it is with everyone it's not only with me and you it's like i have seen many people they can't even live without their phone for a few like hours or like half an hour even like for us uh, being a house uh, housewife i have to perform all the duties of my house i have to do everything so for that particular time i have to keep my phone aside and i don't need actually that time my phone but the moment i will sit on my couch i need my phone i start looking for oh, here is my phone is <laughs> my phone exactly even though i do i know that uh, i am feeling headache but still i use my phone like we just yeah. careless we become careless when it comes to use the phone we should you know what we should do we should keep it aside when we are free then only we can be free from using this habit like most of the time like we are doing household chores obviously we cannot get the phone at that time but we are free we need phone so if we want to get the rid of this habit of using phone we should avoid it during your free time i feel yeah but and, it's very really difficult is it easy to say but doing it's very hard yeah yeah that that's we are true everywhere. even though doing the house chores work while moping i just put the air phone in my 
air and just listen the music sometime podcast like not i don't think that i am just listening actively listening the english content But, whatever i'm watching from youtube so i don't do now this because i don't understand properly so whenever i do anything just listen prefer to listen in hindi whatever i listen like sandeep mehswari podcast whatever i just listen in hindi so so i think that it's also really not good because we are no we are human being we are not machine so we can't do multitasking right yes, so it's yes. also not good for our mental health i feel very sometime i feel that my mind uh, it's like soon ho jata hai like it's very it's very numb. headache yes okay. numb become numb okay yeah it happens because the usage of electric gadgets is a lot because if phone is not in our hand there must be the tv if tv is not here something else like we are occupied with the gadgets only and if i talk about even the household chores everywhere like we are using electric gadgets are like machines fridge tv ac everywhere it is electronic items like i cannot even imagine my life without electronic items how do we like survive <laughs> yeah we are so much occupied with it Yes. Okay, Mantasha. What is your channel name? Ah, uh, fluent English with Mantasha. Fluent English with Mantasha. Okay. Like, how many subscribers do you have till now? Ah, uh, it's ah uh, sixty-five. Okay. So you just it's just the beginning. How many videos did you upload till now? Twenty. Twenty videos you have uploaded. Okay. So how much? Like, what what is the response you are getting from the viewers? Yeah, it's a nice positive response. Just keep positive. doing. yeah okay 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 uh, now i have to go because actually today what happened my husband is not well he is having fever so he is sick so that's why i was not able to uh, get in touch with you for a long time and i was you know uh, postpone the timing like 15 minutes and 20 minutes yeah, yeah i can understand because uh, being a house of house housewife so you have lots of responsibility i can understand it there's no yeah. problem Yeah, so now I have to go, but it's a such a lovely conversation I've had with yeah. you, and you're so fluent. You're so you. I enjoyed it. Yeah, same here, same here. And yeah, thank you so much. We'll connect in future if we'll get chance. Yeah, why uh, not? Okay, okay, Mantasha. Bye. Bye.